So in order to get the Jeep out, I had to shovel out the door because it was just buried. You can see, that is the truck. That is the truck under there. Well, it's a beautiful morning out here today. Gorgeous. I gotta get around the corner there and give the chicken some water and food, make sure everything's good. And uh, we got some snow overnight. And I know you can't tell how much, I don't know how much yet, but this was plowed last night. Halfway through the storm. And uh, we got some more overnight. So we'll go see what it looks like, I guess. All right, well, it's up to my knees. And uh, like I said, we already plowed once. I can't even imagine it would be up to our butts. Oh my gosh, too much snow. So in order to get the Jeep out, I had to shovel out the door because it was just buried. As you can see, that is the truck. That is the truck under there. So I dug it out a little bit. I'm gonna move it out instead of walking all around it in the snow to clean it off and then I'll plow up what the mess I make because I'm exhausted everywhere I go. I have to shovel to get there, to get in, to get out, everything. So I'm gonna try and move this to where the walking is easier and then I can plow it. Okay, it came out of that hole and uh, here it is on the plowed driveway. That should make it easier to clean and then I'll just plow it up what mess I make. I can't, uh, it's hard to walk around with that. It's up to my up to my crotch and snow and it's hard to walk. So uh, then I gotta dig that sucker out. So yeah, fun. That was a few days ago so now we're back into a little bit warmer temperatures and melting as you can see things are wet and the snow banks are back down again to where they were originally before the big storm so yeah we had a big storm I did not get a grill report we got like three feet of snow so this chick had all she could do to get through what we had Luckily, Scott was home, so we kind of tag teamed the tractor and the plowing and uh, got what we could done. Uh, and then the sun did a lot of the rest. The sun and we've had a ton of rain, mostly rain, <laughs> more rain than sun for sure. So we uh, just have been letting the rain kind of take care of a lot of it. You know, as you can see, it gets really muddy over here. We can only get so far on the lawn and so we didn't get the banks pushed back, but that's okay because things are are doing pretty well. Uh, it's belting so much that the uh, the pusher, let me change you around here. Scott put that there and the snow has melted and now it's not even straight. 
I'm pretty sure we can still get it with the tractor, but it's kind of funny because it was flat and straight, but not anymore. <laughs> So the weather today is sunny and it feels really good, but the wind is crazy. Uh, 30 to 40 mile an hour wind gusts and just ridiculous. We've been having really crazy winds here lately. So that's not any fun. Um, and then trying to film outside is not fun at all either because you get that wind noise and it just stinks. So um, I'm sitting in the tractor right now because I feel like it's a little sheltered, so it's not so bad. <laughs> but uh, it's still blowing, it's crazy. But that sun is warm, I can feel it on my back, I can feel the heat, so spring is around the corner. We just gotta hang on a little bit longer. <laughs> a few more storms, of course, and you know, a little more mud, that we can deal with, uh, just as long as we know that it's coming, so. So any of you in the uh, clips path so that you're going to have an influx of a lot of people, we are in the area of where, I mean, we're out of town and we live in the woods, so I don't think it's going to bother us much, but we're definitely in the area where the eclipse is going to be. I don't know if we're going to get full view of it, but uh, we're planning on staying home, staying out of the way letting the people that want to come up and check things out come on up check it out uh but yeah we're definitely not going to get in the middle of that if we can help it so uh but i was just wondering how many of you are in the eclipse path and are you planning to to view it are you planning to go out i did get get glasses at uh where do they pick those up oh walmart yeah walmart had them on a little kiosk right by the registers there and so I grabbed a couple just in case because we don't really have anything that would work. Scott has a welding helmet that he said he'd put on. I said that's not comfortable. <laughs> so he said it wasn't the first time so that he's used it so whatever he's he's kind of weird so <laughs> but yeah I got a couple pairs of glasses we're planning on staying home but I wonder how many of you are planning on traveling are you planning on, uh, you know, if it's not in your in your path, are you planning on traveling to different places? Or, you know, having a party? I don't know. I, I think there's eclipse parties. There's all kinds of weird stuff going on. So, um, and of course, there's lots of stuff floating around on everything that's going to be happening during the eclipse and that day. So, it's interesting, all the things that they're talking about with that. But, um I mean, there's not much we can do about it. It is what it is. So that's beginning to be my favorite word these days, or my favorite phrase is it is what it is. I can't uh, do anything about it. So I just do what I can here and just hope it stays away, whatever it is, whatever it is. I want to take a moment and thank Grub Terra for supplying our chickens with high quality treats that they absolutely love. Can't get enough of the black fly larva treats that gives them that extra boost they need through the winter and until spring when they can get out and forage on their own. They're really great treats for chickens that can't free range and they need that extra boost just to make those nice healthy eggs. If you're interested in buying a bag of Grub Terra black fly larva, check out our link down in the description. Use the code OFFGRIDWHISKEY and get 10% off a five pound bag. So anyway, so much for not getting any more snow, so much for uh, not having to plow anymore. Um, this last storm that we got, like I said, we got almost a, a, just about three feet. I di again, didn't measure it. It was up to my hips in spots where we hadn't plowed. So I know that we got quite a bit. Um, it, it just, it's spring. It is what it is. So the storm was a lot like what I remember when I was a kid. We got feet not just a few inches we got feet of snow when I was a kid I remember that very well 
Uh, Scott remembers that very well, and I'm sure a lot of you watching remember if you are in an area where you get a lot of snow, um, you remember that very well. Lots and lots of snow. We used to have such fun times sliding and, um, uh, you know, building forts and all that kind of thing. And the kind of snow that we get nowadays, it's a pain because we're older and we've got to take care of it and not play in it so much. But it's, um, it's definitely different <laughs> than when we were kids. But anyway, uh, so yeah, that's what's been happening around here. We kind of licked our wounds for a few days. There was a lot of shoveling, plowing, and dealing with all that crap. And uh, yeah, that's what was going on here. So now we're melting. Um, lots of wet spots. I think a few more days we're supposed to get a few, a little bit more snow. But like five to eight inches, that's nothing nowadays after getting three feet in one storm. <laughs> so, but yeah, that was a challenge to get all that cleaned up. Uh, we're focusing on the warmer temps that should be coming soon and things that we want to get done and do around here so that's pretty exciting and uh, we are just ready for winter to be over of course our 10 new little baby chicks are getting big they're growing out their feathers and they're having a blast doing flying lessons and when they get out of the cage they just love to run around with all the extra room I like to let them out in the coop with the big chickens and just keep an eye on them. And I do it for like five or ten minutes. And the they get to they kind they get to see each other every day because there's a screen be, between them. But to have them out on the floor when the chickens are walking by, and they're just getting used to each other. And maybe eventually in a few weeks when it warms up, I'll be able to let them out with the big chickens and not worry about them pecking them and, and hurting them in any way. So it's working out really well. I've done this several times before and it works out great. So I'm excited to get these guys out. And once the weather gets better, they're just going to be so much fun. These girls are here laying eggs. These guys are waiting. Waiting for their favorite box. Huh. It looks like it might be hers. The baby's over here. And their lunch. Thank you for watching, and if you want more Whiskey and Sunshine, check out this next video on the screen. I know you'll love it.